Hey everybody, it's Under My Cap, and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn this into this. Now, this is really cool, it makes Minecraft so much more smoother, and it works really well. Now, prior to making this video, I tested every single version, vanilla, Optifine, and Fabric, to see which frame rates kind of do everything. So, as you can see, I did the breaking test, and I noticed that Fabric and Optifine did obviously outweigh vanilla as those shaders, and they got a much more higher frame rate. However, I did notice a very significant decrease in performance when we played on servers such as Hypixel uh, with Vanilla and Optifine. However, Fabric, because they have optimization with Sodium, it works. If you're on Bedrock, I'm really sorry this is a Java video. This is how you optimize it so you can turn off all your fancy graphics and lower render distance to make sure that you have more frames. Now with all the tests done and all of the things, we can obviously see that Fabric is the best option right now if you want to get lots of frames on your computer. Now you can obviously use Optifine, but this video I'm going to show you how to install and set up Fabric with Iris shaders. First, I'm going to show you how Fabric works. So basically Fabric is just another install that you can add to Minecraft. Now, as you can see, it slips straight into the launcher. So you can see I've got all of this, kind of where Optifine is. If you've used Optifine before, it's basically like that. Now make sure to always ask a parent to help you with any of this if you are unsure of what you're doing. And always make sure you use the same and safe links. Wanna to go to fabricmc.net? This is where you can get the official download. And then it's really simple. All you have to do is hit download here and hit download for Windows. So once you hit that, you'll get a little pop-up here. I'm gonna hit save file and I'm gonna show you here. Now after this, you wanna click on this and after you do that, it will open up a little window. And this window is where you set up your little uh, fabric installer. So you can select the version you want. Obviously, if it's a later video, you would select the later version. And always make sure that the loader version is up to date. Once you've done that, hit install. And I'm not gonna do this because I've already got it installed. But you can see when I open up my Minecraft launcher, that it will be there. And if it's not there, go to installations, hit new installation and scroll all the way down to where it says fabric load up and hit done or create down there. But as you can see, it's right there. So when I hit play, it will open it up. What you want to do for first time is you're going to want to hit play on it and open it up. And once you've done that, then we can get into the next step. Now the next step is installing these next three mods. So we're going to want to install fabric API off curse forge. So as you can see, it's this iris shaders again off curse forge and Sodium off CurseForge. Now I'm going to leave these links in the description below just to make sure you go to the right location. But you can see that these are the three mods we're going to want. So basically hit download on each one of those. So I'm going to just do one right now because I've already got the mods installed. And once you do this, it should just pop up with here and hit save file. Now the next step is to actually add these mods to your Minecraft game. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to hit Windows, the Windows key, and hit R. Now once this pops up, you want to type in simply percent, app data, percent, one of these backwards slashes, full stop Minecraft slash, and once you do that, it will open up your Minecraft folder. So as you can see, I have my Minecraft folder here, uh, or sorry, my Minecraft folder is right there. So I click on that, and as you can see, it's got fabric, so it means it's installed. But you'll also notice that there is a folder that says mods, and this is where you can add your mods, which we just downloaded. So what you wanna do is you wanna open up your downloads folder, and I'm sure you've done this before. Simply just drag them all the way into this folder here. So as you can see, these are some of my mods I use. I use um, auto brightness. Um, these are also two other ones that help uh, optimize your Minecraft. So far, I haven't really seen a performance increase um, but they, you know, they work. But as you can see, you stick them in here and then you're good to go. Simply open up Minecraft again and you've got your mods. Now, once you do this, you're going to have Minecraft optimized and you can see this when you go into your resource packs or sorry, when you go into video settings, it looks a lot like this. Now you can install your shader packs. You can increase quality, everything. Fabric is really awesome with its um, controls and stuff and yeah, that's about it. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. This video took a very long time to make and I hope it's helped you. I've tried to make it as short as possible as well because I think you guys like shorter, less watered down videos. So if you do like that, don't forget to subscribe and I can't wait to see you in the next video. See ya.